Hi, I'm going to be making my pumpkin pudding bread. It's my favorite pumpkin product of the whole season. What I'm doing is I have greased and floured one 9 by 5 loaf pan. So it'll come out nice and easy. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I've begun to mix my wet products in a large mixing bowl. I've used one cup of Meyer pureed pumpkin. I've used half a cup of vegetable oil, one cup of sugar. To that I'm going to add a third a cup of brown sugar. Get that in there. I'm going to add two eggs, which I've already cracked. Pour those in there. And then I'm going to combine those ingredients, making sure that everything blends together well. In my other bowl, which is a smaller mixing bowl, I'm going to combine my dry ingredients to make sure that the flavors from the dry ingredients last throughout the entire wet mixture. That looks pretty well mixed to me. There you go. So in my smaller mixing bowl, I am going to put in one and one half cups of flour. I'm going to add to that half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of baking powder. In addition, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt. And then for those delicious spices of the season, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I'm going to mix these together separately. And then when I'm done, like so, there we go. I'm going to add them to the pre-mixed pumpkin puree. As I stir it in, it's okay to have some lumps because it's a bread and I'm not going to beat it because I want it to have a nice thick consistency. So I'm just going to mix it well with a spoon. And then once it's mixed, I'm going to add this to my prepared loaf pan. Almost done. And there we go. The last ingredient that I'm going to add is my super secret ingredient. It's Meyer's Instant Vanilla Pudding. And I tend to add this to all of my baked goods because they come out really moist. So I'm going to add half of a package. There we go. And I'm going to finish stirring. smells delicious and I can't wait to have some of this. What I'm going to do with the mixture, which you can see is very thick, I'm going to add it to my pan. And then once it's in the pan, I'm going to bake it at my preheated oven for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. When it's done, I, I usually check mine in about 50 minutes, I will touch the top of the loaf and see if it springs back. I know a lot of bakers like to use a fork in the middle of their baked goods, but for some reason it drives me nuts because I always end up chucking it several times and so then I have several fork punctures in my finished product. So there we go. I have placed all of my pumpkin mixture in my loaf pan. I kind of shake it up and I would heat that in the oven. And when it's done, I've got my finished product here, a delicious warm loaf of pumpkin pudding bread.